Okay, so this video is going to cover how to properly insert a re-evaluation note into the HCNet system. So once you log into your HCNet, you'll come to a home screen similar to this. Once again, this screen may look a little different than yours as this is the admin side of things. But you'll come up here to visits, click on visits, and then the smaller visits tab. And then let's say we were seeing a patient with the last name of Brown, first name of Bob. We'll go ahead and search that patient. And there he is in Dallas. We'll go ahead and select him. Now, if you did the initial evaluation for the patient, you can go ahead and click on actual visit, build from last. Or if you've been seeing the patient as well, you can build from your last visit. If for whatever reason this is your first time seeing the patient and you're doing the re-evaluation, uh, you're going to have to click this insert new note. But let's just say that I did either the initial evaluation or have been treating this patient. So we'll go ahead and click actual visit build from last. Once again, uh, I'm getting this notification here just because this is not a real patient. You shouldn't see this on your end. If you did see this on your end, you would just have to do that uh, insert new uh, note. Once again, you'll want to go ahead and select the correct date uh, if you are not doing the note on the same day that you saw the patient, then you'll have to select the correct date. We'll come over here, say we saw the patient from 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. And then whether it's a re-evaluation or a 30-day re-evaluation, you'll click uh, let's just go ahead and say this has been 30 days since you initially saw the patient, so you're doing the 30-day re-evaluation. You'll come down here to the wound vac section. You'll go ahead and click no vac applied this visit. Once again, since we're therapists, we won't be working with the wound vac. We'll go ahead and skip the status section for now. Go ahead and click this checkbox underneath the vitals. I always like to t type in temp not taken since I'm not taking the patient's temperature, and then once again, you're going to have to fill out vitals here for both SpO2, heart rate or pulse, respiratory rate, and for blood pressure. And then we'll just say that were that was the vitals, so you can see that's filled out. And then we'll go ahead and leave the supplies section blank since we aren't normally using supplies. And then once again, you'll scroll down to this medical necessity and homebound review section. This is where you put in your narrative. So these three phrases will have to be here. You have to put in why the patient is still homebound, the diagnosis. This is going to be, or this is, you're going to want this to be the same diagnosis that is entered in your Foreman app. And then this is where you will put your narrative your subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. Once again, it depends on how you do this. Some people take notes by hand. I bring my iPad with me and kind of have a re-evaluation and evaluation template that I fill out when I'm with the patient. And then I just go ahead and copy and paste that into this section. But just depends on how you want to do things. But you're going to want to be uh, pretty specific in what you did and make sure you include the necessary information here, and then you'll scroll back up, hit insert visit from. Once again, you shouldn't see this. You should see that uh, the visit was successfully inserted, and then you're gonna wanna go through your assessment. So you'll click assessment. So let's say we did a PT eval. Since this is a re-evaluation, I would click that still. And then we did some sitting balance, some standing balance. And let's say we also did the Tenetti and they scored in this range today. So once again, you're going to want to go through here and click the necessary checkboxes. As you can see, these are completely blank. So you will have to select at least one checkbox for each section, even if it is, say, this NA section. And you'll go ahead and scroll down, filling out the necessary checkboxes. I'm a physical therapist, so this is what's coming up on my end. If you're an occupational therapist or a speech therapist, you may have some different sections and some different boxes that you may need to check, but that's just all on how your patient presents. And then you'll get down here shortly 
to the re-evaluation part of things. So this will look extremely similar to the baseline, which we did during the initial evaluation. Now you should, on your note, have a spot to put in a frequency uh, just right above this ambulation section here where, where you will want to put in the new frequency that you're requesting. So you'll type that in, whether that be like 2W4 or you know 3W2, 5W2, and then you'll put the effective date, meaning the date uh, that you're wanting that frequency to go into effect. And then you'll go down to these boxes and fill these out accordingly. Once again, you'll have to select at least one checkbox here. And then we're going to continue with this plan. If you're saying, if you're say discharging the patient, you go ahead and click discontinue service. And then we'll just check these accordingly as well. So you'll just have to go through these and read these, but let's say we did these today. And then once again, if you're continuing with the patient, uh, you'll have to put in some new goals both short-term and long-term with a date for each of them. I always try to put in at least three short-term and three long-term. Now say you're discharging the patient, you could write in here, no new goals, patient is being discharged or something to that effect. And then you'll go down to your orders and goals section once again, and just kind of say what you completed and if they met that goal or not. So let's just click through here. Once again, you will have to select at least one checkbox for each of these. And we'll go ahead and go back to note. I did forget to mention, if you're in the assessment portion part of things and say you're discharging the patient, then you could click DC visit. And there's a couple other of these that you may need to check if you were discharging the patient. Um, let's scroll down and see if I can find some of those here. So you're just gonna wanna take your time and, uh, and make sure that you're checking everything necessary. Uh, but let's say I'm discharging the patient. So on this section, for example, we're not gonna continue with the current plan of care. We're gonna discharge the patient to the care of themselves. So like I said, you're just gonna wanna take your time, especially when you're just getting started and make sure you're uh, checking everything that applies to your patient. And we'll just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom once again and click on note and then We'll go down to that section that we skipped over at first and we'll click note is complete. Once again, if this is a re-evaluation and a discharge visit, you would click this box, but let's just say we're not doing that at this point because we're gonna continue with a certain frequency. We'll just click note is complete and then scroll back up. And then like I said, this, this tab will say update visit. You'll click that and it should say that this visit was successfully updated. If for whatever reason there was something that still needed to be you know, filled out or you left a checkbox empty, it would let you know here. And then like I said, you can go up to visits, clinician and patient search, and go down to see if that note was completely entered. Once again, that note wasn't entered because this isn't a real patient, but if it, if it were entered properly, you would see that here with nothing next to it. And if it wasn't complete, you would see this little uh, incomplete no, uh, notification letting you know that you still needed to complete that note. So that is how you enter a re-evaluation note into the HCNET system. Okay, thanks.